Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Joe, here, your friendly drummer. Uh, I'm going to be reacting to a video of me playing xylophone in 2010 during my last year in college. Let's check it out. There I am. Man, I was skinnier. Look at all that hair on my head. It's not happening anymore. So wait, wait. These are all my friends. I have to talk about this. So we got... I'm going to miss a couple if you guys are watching this video. I'm really sorry. We got Amy, uh, Melissa. So Amy was the first violinist. And then we got Regina and Patrick. Don't know that guy. And then we got Megan, Gabby, who was actually my girlfriend at the time. How's it going, Gabby? And uh, Christine. And then I think I mentioned Melissa. Uh, back here we got Vlad. I don't know who that is because I can't see their face, but uh, yeah, all my friends. So these guys were all like good buddies of mine. At least I thought they were. <laughs> you never know, you know. <laughs> never know if people are really like you. But we had a really great little orchestra, and I always had a blast playing with the college orchestra. It was a lot of fun. So let's uh, get to the performance. I'm going to try to not stop it during the performance, so... I just want to say before we start, um, I can't tell which performance this was. I played this piece twice. Um, it says it was at the music festival. So I'm assuming that was the first time I played it. I played it twice, and the first time was pretty good. I only made like one or two mistakes. And when you play like a bazillion notes, one or two mistakes is not a big deal. This is probably the second time I played it because I actually got overconfident and was a little bit like, eh, it's too much, you know, too, too, too much pressure. Uh, so the second time I didn't really have the same level of focus that I did the first time. Uh, so this is, I think it's the second time I played it. So it's not as perfect, but still really cool, really good. Let's go ahead and watch the actual song. <laughs> okay, then I bow and I took off. I probably should have went out in front of the stage and uh, bowed a little bit more and kind of like juiced it, but I was also, I was shy. I'm not generally considered a shy person, uh, but uh, in that instance, I was feeling pretty shy because it was something, I knew that I had made some mistakes, you know what I mean? And it was, it was, uh, I felt kind of like sh crappy. I remember kind of finishing up that performance. You, you might not be able to tell, but I had, like, whenever you play something live, usually it's an average of the best and the worst times that you've played it. And um, sometimes, because of the greater level of concentration, you can get your best performance when you're live, which I'm usually that way, but that was a sub-average level performance for me of that particular piece. Um, I remember when I learned it, 
I originally learned it in the key of E, and if you know anything about piano, you know that it's a totally different path to, to go up a chromatic scale in E versus D. So I did it as a solo piece in E, and then the only like arrangement I could find for orchestra was with a, with a D. And so I used that, and that arrangement was honestly not that good. The, the chords were not right, and they weren't true to the, orig the original um, Rimsky-Korsakov uh, 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 the, the original composer's vision. So, But to be frank, it was all I could find, and I wasn't really able to orchestrate a totally new arrangement. But it did really well. I, I got a lot of uh, got a lot of notoriety for doing that performance, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, playing mallet, xylophone, marimba, vibraphone, it's, it's one of those things in life that I really truly miss. I still play drums, as you know, you're on my drum channel, but I, I miss being able to play mallets on a regular basis. So if you're watching this video, make sure to go ahead and send me a xylophone, and uh, I'll definitely give you a shout out in one of my videos. I, I'm just joking, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to send me a xylophone. But anyway, if you have questions about uh, xylophone, marimba, vibraphone, mallets in general, ask me in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you come back again later. And I'll check you. I'll check in with you later. If, if you want more content like this, let me know. My channel is really new, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do. And um, reactions are certainly on the table. They're certainly something I might do, but we'll see. So I'll talk to you later. Kaden, brada, aloha.